How you doing? We're at my granddaughter's birthday party and I'm reviewing a, a IPA. Yeah, that's no mistake. Uh, we're doing what a, a second runoff of this, uh, the mash ton from the brew yesterday, the Red Eye Rye. And I gave it, uh, oh, almost a gallon and a half of, half of hot water at 180 degrees. We're going to run that off, and we're going to boil it down, and we're going to see what it looks like and uh, what it comes out on the uh, hydrometer. Smells good. The mash tun sat there all night with the grains in there. I was just too tired and too lazy to empty it. So this is just an experiment. Boy, that smells really good. I can't wait to see what the one is going to come up in on the gauge here. Let that go slow. I'm going to go take a test of that in a second or two. Yeah, like I say, this is just an experiment. And uh don't know. I don't know what it's going to do. <laughs> second runoff here and let it uh, I'm going to get about a gallon I'm planning on a gallon and we'll boil that down if it's uh, if it's worth boiling down I expect it's going to come in at about 1020 I'll be surprised if it's higher than 1020 but it might be you never know you never know I might add a little candy sugar to it and get a nice gallon and, uh, and put it in bottles go figure I just started kegging <laughs> I'm going to put this in bottles <laughs> can't believe I got 10, 1041 off the second running. So uh, yeah, about a gallon and a half. <coughs> Excuse me, 1041. I'm going to go with some uh, Cascade uh, pellet hops this time. And I have some of my homemade uh, candy sugar. I made the suckers for the kids that time. This has a little bit of a burnt flavor. So it's actually going to change the taste of this uh, beer. This will be bottled. This is an experiment. And I do believe uh, I'll be calling it the unexpected. I'll be calling it the unexpected brew because uh, <laughs> 1040, the next day I, I, uh, I added a gallon and a half uh, hot water, 180 degree water to the mash tun, which was still at about 100 degrees in there. And I did a batch sparge. I just let it soak there for another 30 minutes. And drained it out. 1040. 1040, go figure. When I add half of this uh, candy sugar, she's going to be up into the 1060 range. Go figure. It's going to be nuts. It's a derivative of the Red Eye Rye. Uh, the runoff. That's all I can say is the, the, the runoff. So we'll, I should have called it runoff, but unexpected runoff. <laughs> okay, we're going to... Transfer to blood orange here after uh, seven, eight, seven, eight days someplace in there. I'll have to go check my sheet, I don't remember. Pull the airlock out. Everything's sanitized, hose, crank the valve, everything is how this goes. I'm gonna run slow for a second because there's gonna be a lot of trub on the bottom too. And it's very important to run this one in the second area to get that separation of the uh, the puree is out of the way because the, pure, the puree hangs heavy in the bucket in the bottom of the bottling, bottling bucket here and she'll pull some of the yeast with it so I always go into secondary with this and then let it sit for another uh, probably 10 days depending I'll see more uh, fermentation out of it once again sterilized everything or sanitized everything this is the uh, red eye rye I'm gonna transfer it. I gotta get the oh there we go Pull the bubble, bubbler out of there first. And we'll open that slowly but surely. After dumping that all over the floor, that's, that's how we drop here. We do it all, make a mess first, I guess. And we'll open that fully now. 
Off the secondary she goes. That don't look too bad. Stirring up a little air. I didn't want to do that. <clears throat> yeah, off the secondary. Red Eye Rye. So, got a lot of brews going. I'm going to do some kegging pretty soon. Again. Okay, we're gonna try. Uh, I guess it's. Uh, I'm gonna try a blithering idiot. A, bl a blithering idiot. I guess it's called here. Mm -hmm. A little too much taste testing with a foamy glass. In the dark light here, looks like a devil or a Joker, actually from Batman. Maybe I'm not sure on that one. It looks like a blithering idiot. <laughs> a blithering idiot is the name of it. And it came from what? What state again? We don't know. It's can't read. Can't read the label. Yeah, it. bed lighting down here. We can't tell. We're the blithering idiots, probably. This, uh, this SOB tastes like. SOB stands for Superb Oriental Beer. Oh, it looks like a nice stout. It wasn't on an IPA level, was it? Ah, oh, nice head pour on a on a oh, slant. It's a black ale. Lights blinking. I think you're good. Mm. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's pretty damn good. Burnt chocolate, they would say, something like a chocolatey. <clears throat> it tastes so good, I'm going to say, how you doing? So we're going to pour one of these, uh, it's in a blood orange by, uh, by, uh, Ellicottville. Oh my God, Ellicottville. Brewing company, right in my backyard, folks. Yep, maybe I can set this down without dropping it. This is a absolute chaos. I'm gonna try a uh, flying bising. It's the Irish Aviator Red Ale. It's an uh, Irish style red ale from uh, Flying Bising Company. Uh, I never had it before, so I did have it before. I just don't remember it, but we'll give it a little taste test here to see what it looks like in it. Of course, the, reading, the writing on the label is so small, it's hard to read the SOB, I'll tell you that. Absolutely crazy. I got the, transferred a lot of beer today, so I'm working on my own beers there. But it's a unique blend of uh, eight malts. I can't read this. Gives Aviator Red the rich flavor and signature ruby red color cat golden hops. Blah, 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 blah. We're just going to taste it. So we're going to... Ah, it smells like beer. It smells like beer again. It's got a nice head on it, some good lacing. And dark color, you can see through it a little bit. If you look outside there, right through my fingers, there you go. Right to the police officer that drove by. And... Yeah, it's got a nice red color. So they're right with the red amber part of it. But I can't read their label. They're too small. They had to put it in Braille or something so I can feel it. Kent Golding Hops, they say. Oh, so many films. So we found, uh, this is a seasonal by Southern Tier Brewing. I think, uh, I'm not going to mention his name, just just had one of these here, but it's a raspberry white wheat, wheat beer. Wheat beer, I call them wits, uh, British wheat beer. Uh, sure looks like it's going to be tasty. The wife says it's really good already, so. Oh, good steam. Good funk down. Got a good funk down already. Oh, look at the color of that. Looks like it's a. Uh, I swear that's uh, grapefruit. I'd call that grapefruit if you ask me. Let's 
seeing that this is almost a bottle condition beer I can see in the bottom we got a little bit of a little bit of yeast cake a little haze I wish I would have swirled it up and got the rest of it out of there no, we didn't very fizzy it looks very fizzy it looks like Kool-Aid very fizzy very bubbly Ah, oh, grapefruit notes, but it's, they call it a raspberry. Oh, that's mild. Very fruity, very raspberry. They got that part right. It's hardly any hops. It's not hoppy at all. Uh, it's, uh, tastes like a fruit punch. Almost. I get that fruit punchy taste to it, almost like a like a champagne. But not many hops. You're getting that? I really don't taste any hops to no, it. No, not me either. I'm getting the champagne taste. And Southern Tier Brewing Company, Lakewood, New York. All right, it's in my backyard. Obviously, we talked about this the other day. But uh, taste the raspberry in it. And the color you can see here, I don't know. It's it's hazy because it's wheat. You know, it's a wheat beer, of course. But it, uh, to me, it tastes like champagne. And I don't, uh, I'm curious of what kind of hops they use, because they're... I, I yeah, I wouldn't, uh, they make a nice summer beer. Oh, yeah, out by the pool. It'd be mm -hmm. a beautiful summer beer. It has a, uh, uh, I don't know how to describe it, a nice throat feel, like like you get out of a, out of a champagne or a bubbly, uh, a bubbly. I call it a bubbly. Hops? Yeah, I'd be. I, 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 I'm clueless on hops. I really don't taste any. Maybe they used a fresh cracker or something like that, where it's got a really the bittering. Isn't beer. there? No, the, there's no bitter. There's no bittering at all. A little dryness at the end. There's a little bit of dryness, a little dry feeling at the end there. We've been working up a storm here, cutting plywood and all kinds of stuff here. We've got a big project coming up, and we hope it works out. Well, we just poured a, a flying bison, bison here. It's a, a, a Larkin Lager, Pil Pilsner Lager, it says, 4.8 uh, 4 there, ABV. Definitely a lager by the color. You can see that crystal clear. Oh, I, I can actually see my, uh, yeah, that's it's crystal clear. Smells like a Molson Canadian, right off the bat. Smells like it came from Canada, eh? But it didn't. Yeah, it's not too bad. Man, I'm so used to my own beers. I, 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 oh, boy, whatever hop they're using in there is like a interesting bittering there. Glazing's pretty good. It's pretty well carbonated, maybe on the 3.0 level. And it's got a dry finish. Can't place that one. Hmm. Hmm. Can't place the hop at all. Hamburg Brewing Company, uh, Irish Red, Irish style red ale. Uh, Hamburg, New York, I believe. Uh, 4.8 uh, ABV. Uh, labels just, you know, just a plain Jane. I'm going to smell the, the nose smell here. Oh, it smells a little bready. Boy, I'm getting grandma's, uh, grandma's dough. Grandma's rising some dough on the counter. A little raspberry flavor, a little smell maybe. Oh, we got some chocolate notes in there. Coffee, chocolate. That's pretty good. Kind of reminds me of my uh, my infamy beer, although the color isn't there. Uh, slight haze, nothing major. Maybe a little. Uh, boy, I don't know. Definitely chocolate, though.
tastes very stouty. Chocolate and coffee notes come through very strong. The hop, maybe a warrior. Wow. Good head, good lacing. Nice. Kind of reminds me of one of mine. The Infamy beer. Yeah, I just said that. Definitely uh, chocolatey. Mm -hmm.